Hello guys, in this video I'll be showing you running WebSim on a Linux operating system. As we know, Linux operating system has many different distributions such as Ubuntu, uh, CentOS, Red Hat, uh, Debian, Fedora, OpenSUSE, etc. WebSim already supports most of them. In this demonstration we use Ubuntu as you can tell the purple color of the sim. Um, then if you're using special Linux operating system and running into an issue, let us know. I'll try to support that. Before we start the WebSim, let's check the version. Uh, open terminal and type lsb underscore release dash a. This is the Ubuntu 16.04.6 long term supported version. If you're using high version, let's say 19 or 18, uh, should be fine, should be working um, well, no worry. Uh, then let's go to the installation installation folder of the WebSim. Uh, double click the wrong WebSim file, this executable file. Okay, then click that bot and see all this information, hardware and software. Click the system info, then we can see CPU information, memory and uh, operating systems. Okay, uh, unit, we need uh, to verify the unit we're using, this metric, kilometer, gram, kilogram and a meter. Uh, the, if you want to use different units, you can click the parenthesis and then click the unit tab. You can see there are several unit system available. You can choose, just simply click that. Okay. Um, we'll use a metric system for this time. Uh, so we we'll click the new project and uh, some object already generated. And the first step, we need to define the material. So there is a structure steel material already defined uh, with this system. Um, but uh, most of the time probably it's not enough because we need different material in the real engineering analysis. So you can add a new material. Uh, either way you can uh, add a material from the library or you can build a material by click by selecting uh, these properties one by one. Okay, it's two methods to build a material. Okay, then we just change the name to be alumni. Uh, geometry is the second step we need to define the geometries. So there are two ways. Either one uh, uh, should work, but uh, we recommend import uh, CAD geometry files into the WebSim and because um, you can create a very complicated geometries in the CAD software and uh, load it into WebSim and perform the analysis. Let's go to uh, the installation folder and find the data step and we can import a STP file which is highly recommended. Uh, it's very common and very general format for the geometry files. Okay, this is the assembly file and it contains the three bodies left, the right and middle. Uh, we can assign a material to the specific the material the geometry body uh, by click this property. Okay, and then you can select the material from the drop down. Okay, this is material. The third step is meshing. Okay, we need to mesh the bodies for the finite finite element analysis. Um, in the mesh settings, we can define the Global material, global meshing conditions. Let's say the global maximum size of elements is 0 0.01. Uh, you also can make uh, quadratic elements or linear element. Uh, in this demonstration, we just keep it the default. Uh, the one thing I would to show is apply a specific mesh measure for one body. Now we can control the mesh density for different geometry bodies. So we select the one geometry, and this must be a body selection. So we select this body, showing the red color. Uh, then we change the maximum size for this body to be 0 0.003. This is smaller than the global setting, which means 
uh, the element for the left body will be smaller than the other parts and uh, we'll have more elements on this body so let's generate mesh as we expected so the left body has higher mesh density okay impose the contact okay then we change the contact name to the contact one contact two one to be to contact two this better for me to call them in this video so then contact one scope the one body in cup and contact two scope another surface so I need to select the left and right surface of the middle body but uh, this two left and right body block my views so I need to hide them then Okay. Good. So this contact already been defined, and we use bonded contact tab, which means these parties, um, these uh, parts never separate. If um, if the part can separate uh, with the motion goes by, then you need to probably uh, different contact type. We can talk about the, the frictionless and the frictional contact types in in the next videos. Okay, then impose boundary conditions. This is probably last step in our analysis setting. And constrain on the bottom of the left body, and then constrain and then impose a force on the side of the right body. So then give the negative one thousand newton on the z direction. And set a zero for both x and y. Sex. Let's just solve now. And then we got the answer. We add some result objects, and then we want to evaluate the deformation on z direction. And double click, you can just showing the display the result showing the the contour. Then one basis is double click. We see this contour uh, distributions of the stress. Strain, we want to see the normal strain on this direction. Yeah, that's just a very simple and quick demonstration about how to run WebSIM on Linux operating system, specifically for the wind, uh, for the Ubuntu uh, in this video. But uh, there's no big difference if you're running Windows Ubuntu centers and in Linux operating systems. Um, so that's one of our goal to create very uh, similar, very uniform user experience between different uh, operating systems. So let us know if you have any comments or questions. Thank you for watching. Bye.